Well, after a career change that took me from the world of finance into the world of social work, I began working for Child Protective Services and specialized in child fatality and severe abuse case investigations. Some of those were criminal or resulted in criminal charges which were prosecuted by the Commonwealth Attorney's Office. Once I saw the dedicated professionals that work here and their commitment to trying to find justice for crime victims, I was hooked. I wanted so badly to be a part of the team. Their strength and resilience in the fight for justice for crime victims is remarkable and their collaborative approach to working with other community agencies allows their reach to move far outside of the criminal courts and truly impact our community. So, I learned about um, helping people when I was a small child. My father was a preacher and my mother a librarian who drove the bookmobile and helped um, young children learn how to read. Um, it was fun. It was so much fun. And uh, with my father being a preacher, we would always take flyers around neighborhoods inviting people to come to church. So I kind of got that gene, that helping gene for my parents. Um, just always wanting to help someone in need and always making sure that they have what they needed. Um, even if I couldn't help them personally, just making sure that I knew someone that they can go to or somewhere they could go to to receive help. Um, so that is how I kind of got started in the helping business was from childhood on. Growing up as a kid, I used to watch my father prepare for trial every evening. His passion to help victims of crime was so great that it led me to follow in his footsteps. Besides having a strong family connection to the field, I am also a genocide survivor from Kosovo. In 1999, my family and I were forced to leave our homes and move to a refugee camp. When I moved to the United States, I met my former boss, Mr. Larson, and he offered me an opportunity to do an internship with the office. During that time, I was observing very closely the job that victims advocates were doing. I could see myself as an advocate. I could see myself helping victims because I have been one and did overcome it. I first joined the office when I was obtaining my MSW or Master's in Social Work and I was lucky enough to intern for Louanna Redcorn who is now our Commonwealth Attorney. Louanna gave me the confidence in a new field to realize that every person has a voice and that every idea is worth considering. Louanna exemplified something that I believe I hold dear that there's always room for improvement, that any situation can be improved, and that we can always contribute more to our community and to the people that we serve. After my internship, I haunted this office. I was determined to get a position. And sure enough, in August of 2009, the previous Commonwealth attorney, Ray Larson, hired me to be the director of victim the director of victim services and work as a victim advocate for crime victims and to begin my role of providing support, referrals, information, and explanation to crime victims and help them on their journey through the criminal justice system. In, let's see, 2002, I was testifying in a family court hearing for one of my uh, campies, for lack of a better term, and father was seeking full custody of his children. And so once I was finished testifying, I ran into Ray Larson, um, who told me about the crime victims advocate position. I've never heard of it because I've never had any contact with the criminal justice system whatsoever, but I found it intriguing. At, at first I was like, no, thank you, I just accepted another job. Um, but after about a month, I was like, hmm, maybe, maybe I should check into that. So I did call, and about a month after that, that's all she wrote. I've been a crime victims advocate ever since. Um, working with victims of crime, it's very rewarding. Um, you hate to see the trauma and the uh, terrible things that they go through just for you to work with them. Um, no one ever wants to see anyone experience the awful things they do. But um, I've learned from them just to, to make sure that uh, they're taken care of, whether it be for safety reasons or for resources where they may need um, a connection for counseling or food or just um, personal hygiene products. 
Uh, so it's always very important to know the people outside of the criminal justice realm so that you can serve your victims well. Um, when I look around and I'm like, you know what, I really don't have anything to complain about. Um, because when you look at victims and what they've experienced, a lot of them have taught me how uh, to be resilient. Um, yeah, so this happened to me, but look at what I'm doing with that. I'm taking my trauma, I'm taking my bad experience, and I'm turning it into something positive. So I really, really, really enjoy working with victims of crime and just helping people in general, and I hope to continue to do so. I currently help victims of crime with financial losses, answer questions about court system, keep them up to date with their case, and just being there available when they need someone to talk about the struggle they go through. And that's what makes this job so rewarding. I am blessed to have the opportunity to serve this community and the country that once saved my life.